Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in the previous lecture we have seen all about the introductory part of Apache Drill where we discuss what is Drill which is nothing but a query engine for multiple data sources and also we have seen its main features as well as its benefits. So this lecture let's install Drill so that we can just connect our MongoDB and Hive instances and just work with the data. So Installing drill is not very complicated process and these are all the commands which I have given here are enough for you. But still we need to download the tar file then we need to extract it and then launch it on a specific port. So without further ado let's get into it. So the next step would be just boot up your SDP sandbox so I have just already kept it in running position and make sure that all the services are running fine so that we will not face any error while installing drill. So we will be using drill to just connect with MongoDB and Hive and we can use join operation on the data which we are going to dump in the next lecture. But let's set up the drill first. So just go to the putty terminal now and login as maria underscore dev. So the host name would be maria underscore dev at the rate local host and the port is 2222. So just open it. So you know the password. So just give like maria underscore dev. And after that it will be better if you just log in as a root user because you will get all the privileges and it will not throw an exception while installing the drill. So just give like su root and give the password which you have set. So just to make sure that you know the root password if not the default one is Hadoop all in lowercase. So just give the password. So once you log in as a root user we need to download the tar file for installing drill. So unfortunately drill doesn't come pre-installed in our HDP sandbox and we just need to download it and launch the service. So it is not that much complicated process but we need to get the tar file and extract it and then we can start our service. So to get that you just need to give like wget stdb colon slash slash archive dot apache dot org org slash dist dist slash drill slash and for installing the drill we need to give the version here. So you have to make sure that you are installing the correct version otherwise it will not integrate well with the version of Hive which is provided by the HDP sandbox. So for our Hive version the drill 1.12 version is suitable. So just make sure that you are giving the proper version which is 1.12. So just give like drill dash 1.12.0 slash then again give apache dash drill dash 1.12.0 dot tar dot gz. So just hit enter. So this file is a pretty big one and it will take some time. So once we just download the file that will be it. We just need to extract the file and start our drill service on some specific port. So just grab some coffee and come back after some time once the download is completed. Okay, so the file has been downloaded finally. So that was about it. So if you hit just ls, so the file has been downloaded. So the next step would be just extract the file so that it will create a directory and there will be all sorts of directories and file and we just need to start the service right away. So just to extract this file give like tar space dash xvf dash apache dash drill dash 1.12.0 dot tar dot gz. So that is the file name. So just hit enter. Okay, so it is just extracting all the contents. Yeah, it's done. So hit ls. As you can see the directory has been created. So just go to that directory, give cd, change the directory to this. And if you hit ls, okay, so all kinds of directories are here such as license, winutils, as well as some sample data, jar files. So all you have to do is we have a dot sh file present in the bin directory. So we just need to execute that. That's it. So to do that just give like bin slash that sh file is drill bit. So it is drill bit dot sh. Then you have to give like start so that the service will be started and you have to provide the port. So this is very important. So so we are going to run this service through the web UI itself so that we'll just execute the query from the drill UI. So for that purpose we need to provide a specific port which should be open so that the virtual box will have the capability 
to communicate with the installed Apache Drill service and also we will be able to directly work with it through our web browser. So for that purpose, there should be one port that is not consumed by any other services and it should be open so that we can just give the local host and the port name to just launch the Apache Drill UI. So for that purpose, we have one port which is 8765 which is not consumed by any service and also in open state for HDP sandbox. So for that, just give like a dash capital D then give drill dot exec dot http dot port equals to the port number which is 8765 just look out for the errors if everything looks good hit enter and that's it we have started our drill bit service so are you ready to launch the drill bit okay then so the next step would be just go to your favorite browser and give like localhost colon 8765 that's it so here is our browser and give like localhost colon 8765 hit enter and as you can see that's it we are in the apache drill web ui so the next step would be we need to connect apache drill to our existing hive and mongodb database so if you just go to the storage so as you can see here are the enabled storage plugins so here you can see the cp is for our local file system so if you have just json data file lying around in your pc you can use that and also dfs which is nothing but hdfs so it is already enabled but as you can see in the disabled storage plugins there is hbase hive kafka kudu mongo as well as s3 so we are going to deal with mongo and hive for this drill tutorial so just give like enable okay so the hive is enabled now again for mongo give like enabled and that's it now the apache drill can communicate with our hive database as well as the mongodb database we have just set up in the previous tutorials but you just have to make sure that hive metastore address is given correct so if you go to the update here so as you can see here the hive meta stored urls is not given so here we need to provide that so it is nothing but give like thrift colon slash slash localhost colon 9083 so this is the port for your hive meta store so just remember that and i'm also going to give you this in the description below for your reference so if everything looks fine you can click on update and that's it so this is how you can set up apache drill and we can communicate it with the web ui so if you just go to the query now and that's about it so we can just submit the queries from here itself and get the results very efficiently so what we're going to do in the next lecture we will just create some table in hive as well as mongodb and we'll try to use some join operation on both of these tables so that will be really fun if you face any difficulties or if, if you encounter any errors while installation, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So I'll see you in the next lecture. I hope you like this lecture. So please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media, which I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.